every Floridian should be concerned there may be rampant fraud happening in Palm Beach and Broward counties. And the Broward Supervisor of Elections, Brenda Snipes, has a history of acting in absolute bad faith. Breaking news tonight in Florida's election drama. Governor Rick Scott fighting to win a seat in the U.S. Senate, now suing Broward County over what he calls rampant fraud. Now, the lawsuit coming as Governor Scott has continually watched his lead shrink by thousands of votes ever since the polls closed two nights ago. Now, these are up-to-the-minute numbers. Scott is now hanging on to a 15,000 vote lead over incumbent Senator Bill Nelson. That's 0.18%. It looks at least like a machine recount, if not a lengthy hand recount, could get going as soon as this weekend. Just when you thought Florida politics could not get nastier, it just did. With three statewide races still hanging in the balance, tonight the governor came out swinging not only at his opponent Bill Nelson, but also at the election supervisors in both Broward and Palm Beach counties. Let's get you right out to CBS 4's Ty Russell. He's covering this breaking news story live at Broward Election Headquarters. Ty. Elliot Rudabay, the count is still not over yet here in Broward. Now, the governor since Tuesday has been watching his opponent get more and more votes. So now he wants to see the supervisor of elections for Broward and Palm Beach in court. I will not sit idly by while unethical liberals try to steal this election from the great people of Florida. Governor Scott is visibly frustrated. We've all seen the incompetence and the irregularities in vote tabulations in Broward and Palm Beach for years. But well, here we go again. And he's heated after an election he thought was over Tuesday night. Every day since the election, the left-wing activists in Broward County have been coming up with more and more ballots out of nowhere. Governor Scott will likely be in a manual recount for the race against Senator Bill Nelson. Scott's campaign has been watching the race tighten since election day. The reason? All eyes are pointing to Broward and Palm Beach County. Broward Supervisor of Elections Dr. Brenda Snipes just finished counting mail-in ballots Thursday night. Soon after, the canvassing board began reviewing provisional ballots, which created heated exchanges between lawyers representing candidates and parties. The provisional ballots have not been tabulated. In Scott's complaint, it states the supervisor of elections is unwilling to disclose records revealing how many electors voted, how many ballots have been canvassed, and how many ballots remain to be canvassed. Dr. Snipes told CBS4 she was unaware the governor wants to see her in court. Dr. Snipes, any comment about the lawsuit? Uh, no, I don't know anything about it, but I'm going to take a break. Governor Scott says he wants law enforcement involved as well. Tonight, I'm asking the Florida Department of Law Enforcement to investigate this immediately. Dr. Snipes' reaction. <laughs> President Trump stated in a tweet law enforcement is looking into another big corruption scandal having to do with election fraud in Broward and Palm Beach. Florida voted for Rick Scott. Now, the president didn't provide evidence of election fraud. As for Senator Bill Nelson, he sent out a statement saying, the goal here is to see that all votes in Florida are counted and counted accurately. Rick Scott's action appears to be politically motivated and born out of desperation. Now, tonight, the governor is hoping for a hearing before noon Saturday. That's the deadline for all of the supervisors of elections to deliver their tallies to Tallahassee. Now, as for here in Broward, the elections canvassing board will meet tomorrow at 1 o'clock again to go over provisional ballots. Now, right now, as of the numbers here tonight in Broward, about six races may be headed toward a recount. We are live in Broward tonight. I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News Tonight.